What's up, everybody? This is Joseph R. Wheeler III, the artist, the founder, and the president of the Honest Con Foundation, welcoming you back to an Honest Con music special. Today, I'm talking about a video I just watched about a situation that is starting to boil with this whole Drake Kendrick beef. But it's very interesting, the perspective of this brother's channel. His name is urban legend Will Evans. Shout out to him. He did a really good job of breaking down comments that were made by Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club, who basically said that if you think that with this upcoming Super Bowl halftime show featuring Kendrick Lamar, which I look forward to like most people do because I'm a big fan of Kendrick Lamar, if you really think he's going to be able to get on that stage and utter the lyrics in Not Like Us that pretty much call Drake a pedo, which has not been proven, you got another thing coming. And a lot of people are in their feelings about it, but they're not thinking logically about everything that he said that makes total sense. Let's get into it. So in the video, this brother Evans breaks it down real thorough, and I like how he did it, because he made the biggest point that no matter what, Drake is a bank at this point. He's a walking bank. The guy has been offered a Nike shoe deal that was worth $450 million, plus another deal from a new 360 record situation. Okay, it's 360 record contract pretty much. Look that up if you're not familiar. The word gets thrown around a lot, but it has a lot of terms and everything. And he even breaks that down for you in the video. But the bottom line is people that ever since Not Like Us came out with this cover, that even in the song with the lyrics implicates Drake as being a pedo. That's the worst part, which to this day I just could never get with because you didn't, you didn't ever come with proof of it. You know what I'm saying? The rest of it is great lyricism, just hardcore battle beat, but going that far and it hurt the sales of this particular shoe with Nike. So they are pissed and they coming for their money. Meanwhile, Kendrick drops a new IG track with a pair of beat up Air Force One, black Air Force Ones and now Look at these prices on Air Force Ones, man. It's like stock market prices, the way shoes go up and down based on lyrics and songs. It's crazy. It's crazy, right? So anyway, my point is this. This Super Bowl, it's not going to be what people expect, I think. I think a lot could be gained if parties involved got smart about the money. Now, some folks might say, well, hell, he shouldn't have started no damn beef if he ain't want it because Kendrick's standing no business. Yeah, okay, that's street level way of it all. Kendrick done already won. He got the West. He done brought the West together, and I'm very proud of that because I know how important that is to a lot of different families and people who've been beefing for years. And I'm glad to see that art has proven once again to be the force that can save humanity. That's what we're here for. We all about that art life. So... When you look at what happened, it's real. Like there's literally videos all over YouTube right now showcasing how there have been peace walks. I saw one where it was like the Pyrus and the Bloods did a peace walk. After that, you got Crips coming together who've been beefing for years. You got other groups coming together who've been beefing for years, y'all. So this is huge on a cultural level to certain people and what they want to accomplish. And in that regard, it's absolutely beautiful. But let me break this down. When people say how important this song is and how big it is in the United States, 345 million people, put it all in perspective. Some of them, I promise you, never heard this song. I know some of you are saying, scratching your head right now, what are you talking about? It's the biggest song in the world. In whose world? That's what they tell us here. I'm telling you from experience, people. Check out my videos when I was in República Dominicana. Shout out, mi gente. If you go to Dominican Republic right now, and you ask the average kid. Pull up, Drake, you, you know Drake? Yeah. Okay, he, know, he knows who Drake is, of course. You see what I'm saying about pop culture? You know Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar. It doesn't even matter. Get you 10 people of youthful age who you would think would know in their 20s even. Ask them if they know Drake. Ask them if they know Kendrick most of them are going to say they know Drake. Now, this is just for perspective. I'm a fan of both as artists. I'm more of a fan of Kendrick. But outside the U.S., I promise you, Drake is the bigger name. He's the Michael Jackson of hip-hop. The only other person who is more recognized is Snoop. We, we know this. They made, they made that statement when he was in the Olympics. Everybody knows it by heart now. It is a fact that Snoop is recognizable. Recognition, and Snoop paid too, don't get me wrong. But Drake is definitely the bigger bag in the equation. And these companies only care about the bag. 
They just want to make sure they get their return on investment. They just want to make sure when they put out an exclusive Drake shoe from Nike that it doesn't have weak sales in its first year. That right there, in addition to other things that have been said, like I said, this whole pedal thing is the backfire. Everything else, you can talk about each other. You can beat each other up in the street. They could care less. But what they better not hear is anything that would mess up your public image to a household, to a father and mom who supply the doggone Okay, money that the kid goes and buys the album with on their iPhone that they don't even own. Yeah, exactly. They want to make sure that money keeps flowing. So you can't be calling the, the workhorse a freaking pedo. It ain't going to fly, especially when there's no damn backup for it. There's no absolute facts for that at all. There's just implications and hearsay. It's, it's all, And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that stuff right there. Mark my words. Here's what I see happening, because everybody's speculating on what could be the ultimate Super Bowl of all time. Here's what they should do, in my opinion. Again, views and opinions expressed by yours truly are just those of mine. For entertainment and edutainment purposes, are not necessarily those of Honest Con's affiliates, associates, or sponsors, etc. All right? Now, here's how you do the ultimate Super Bowl in 2025. First and foremost, you clean up the beef. How do you do that? Well, you don't announce it. But you go behind cameras and you make sure that y'all have a conversation about it. Okay? J. Cole is the one. He's the referee. I put it in my video. I put it in my imagery when I created a little AI image to make my point about how the whole thing seemed like pro wrestling to me when it all started. Right? Let J. Cole come out on track, on stage. Because here's what you do. You're going to do a remix of Not Like Us. And in the remix... You got all kind of special guests from the West Coast, East Coast, whatever. But especially West Coast, you, can definitely, you know you got to do that. You got to have a game on there. You got to have, uh, oh my gosh, YG. You got to have you got to have all them cats he knows. And you, you got to bring back everybody who was on stage with him. And you do a second video, a studio video. This one won't be the one around town in L.A. I mean, you still might do a little B-roll with L.A. in the background. Okay, but you do that. And in the middle of the video, you have Cole come out with a special verse. Y'all dap it up on camera and rap together, right? And nothing is said about Drake. It's just like he don't even exist. It's like the whole track is just a love track for L.A. and bringing it all together, okay? Matter of fact, if you wanted to do another video like what he already did, get all the sets together who have made peace and have them out there tying up the rags together. You make all that happen, and I'm promising you that's going to hit Everything you wanted to hit. Then, see, now you done covered the streets. So you ain't got to be talking about, he ain't rubbed the streets. Yes, he did. They, he did the streets. Okay? All y'all who just can't live, no, no, no other mentality but the streets. I tell you, who owns your streets? <laughs> Let me chill out. For real, though. I'm serious, y'all. I want y'all to understand the bigger picture. That's all. That's all I want you to see here. Take it to the next level. Do you understand who owns the distribution for TDE? Yeah, that's Kendrick's company. That's who he raps for. Okay, Top Dog Records. Top Dog has worked with the big three. Who's the big three? The biggest record labels in the world. Okay, they've worked with all three. What does that tell you? Let's break it down. Jay-Z. <laughs> Jay-Z's with the NFL now. He handles the halftime show. You don't think Jay-Z isn't in the room with the big three all the time? They're going to make sure that the business is right. If they're smart, Jay-Z will coach Kendrick and Drake up on what him and Nas did. Matter of fact, if you really want to tear the roof off, you have Drake and Nas. And you call up Wheezy for all y'all who said, they in New Orleans. If they don't represent New Orleans, Wally, I ain't even watching the Super Bowl. They should have had, man, Wheezy should have been on stage. Okay, guess what? <laughs> Bring in Wheezy. Bring in Birdman. Bring, have a damn cash money reunion. Have Nicki Minaj, everybody. And as you wouldn't expect it out of nowhere, Drake hits the stage with Cole. And they literally do Big as the Super Bowl, Big as the, with a special verse from Kendrick. That's right. Remix, first person shooter, Big as the Super Bowl with Kendrick dropping a verse with them. Just remix all of it. Remix the entire beef and remix the money. You talking about some money getting made. You talking about all the hands getting fed and everybody happy at the end of it. And the next day talking about it was the greatest night in the history of the Super Bowl and all for hip hop. I'm telling y'all, if you want to see the glory, this is the way to it. Through arts, art life. 
I'm done. Hit the comments. Show your love.